If we're going to be thinking about doing a faecal egg count, the first question is, what, what are we going to use it for? What, what value could it possibly be to us? Um, and really, with a faecal egg count, what we're really trying to do is to give ourselves um, a really good indication of how many adult worms our sheep are carrying and therefore whether or not um, they might need to be treated, how much contamination they're putting down on the field at any one point in time. So what we're doing is um, looking at the sheep, the adult worms lay their eggs, they come, those eggs come out in the dung and then they will sit there in the dung, they'll go through hatch and go through larval stages within the dung before then emerging, waiting to be re-eaten as infective larvae by the next lot of sheep that come along. So we've got this um, life cycle going on that can take as little as 14 days when it's going very, very quickly to as much as 12 months, for example, um, for a worm like nematodirus. So very much depends on the type of worm and on the um, temperature, the weather conditions at the time as to how long that takes. But what we want to know is how many worms are in that sheep at the moment, does that sheep actually need to be drenched? So that's one thing that we can use faecal egg counts for. The other thing we can use them for is to, tr is to test whether or not our drench has actually worked. Because if again, if we look at the life cycle, then our sheep at the top there, we go in and we treat it with a wormer, with an antelmintic. Um, but if that antelmintic either hasn't been administered properly or increasingly number of cases, there's some resistance there and we leave resistant worms alive in the sheep, then we really ought to know about that because it's not going to be obvious, but we are going to lose um, sheep performance if we don't deal with it and we don't find out. So in those circumstances, what we would do is we would take a sample um, as we were drenching the sheep or maybe to determine whether or not the sheep need drenching and then go back either 7 or 14 days later um, seven days if it's a yellow drench, 14 days for the other drenches to check whether or not there are any worm eggs still there and if there are it can be an indication that we've got resistance. The third way that we can use faecal egg counting is really just to tell us something about how contaminated our pastures are. So if we know how many eggs are coming out in the dung in sheep, then it's giving us um, a really good heads up as to how infective that pasture is likely to be in two to three weeks time, for instance for young lambs. Um, so if that can be often very useful, it can help people to decide maybe when they're going to wean lambs and move them on to lower infection pasture if they're in a situation where we know a lot of eggs are going out onto uh, the ground they're currently grazing.